Hey, this is Broly. So I wanted to make a quick video sharing one of the classic trade secrets of Devil May Cry 3 veteran players, which is hands down the best place to practice combos in the game, the Crystal Skull Room. If you've ever seen a Devil May Cry 3 combo video, chances are you've seen this room in action. And it is the best place for two reasons. First, the room itself contains the greed enemies, which are those giant dudes with the coffins that spawn other enemies indefinitely. So with a relatively short setup, you can practice against an infinite amount of enemies as long as you want. Second, Especially in Dante Must Die difficulty, the greeds in the room spawn sloths, which are your best friend when it comes to practicing combos because A, they're big and slow, and B, they have tons of health, which makes them the perfect punching bags. Okay, so now that you know why this room is awesome, let's talk about how to get there. There are two levels where you can find this room, which is Mission 7 and Mission 16. Mission 7, as I'm playing through here, takes a bit longer to get to, but it gives you four sloth enemies to fight against. So it makes it a little bit of a better fit for practicing crowd control and also an excellent playground for Trickster. I also want to point out that there's a golden statue close by in Mission 7, which is a great option for changing up your style, your weapon, your setup before heading into the room, or if you happen to die and you spawn close by, you can switch things up before heading back in. Now mission 16, the room is almost instantly accessible right at the start of the mission, but as I'll show you a bit later, there are two greed enemies at the beginning as soon as you enter the room that summon pride enemies. Now we don't want those, so you have to clear out that first wave to get the greed that we want, which will summon two sloths. So because there's only two sloths in the Mission 16 version of the room, it actually makes it more ideal for practicing your more intricate combos because there's only two of them. One more thing I will mention is pay attention to how I kite the greeds in the room into the corner before getting to work on my combos. Greeds attack by swinging their coffins around and they have massive range. So take a moment to push them into the corner while they'll basically stay indefinitely and this will allow us to practice without fear of getting randomly hit by those coffins. And that's basically it. I will say that during my prime when I was heavily invested in this game, I would spend hours in these rooms practicing and perfecting my combos, my weapon switching, and jump cancelling. So I'm delighted at the opportunity to share this trade secret with a new generation of players. As always, happy to help with any questions online, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.